today on Be Something Wonderful, busting the myth of trying to feel better thoughts. I am your host, Tom Kieran, and this is the Be Something Wonderful studio of higher consciousness, where we help you level up and become the best version of yourself. Creators, welcome back. Big video today because I had a big day yesterday. Lots of clients, lots of different topics. One was on a specific person. Another was on uh, financial abundance and money and wealth. Another was on um, health and, and chronic conditions and fitness. And I want to cover all of these ideas today and more. Here's what I want to say for, from one client. This seemed to be the theme in all cases. All of them were talking about manifesting something different or bringing something different in their life but they were all talking about the same thing. That's really the power of, 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 of feeling source within you. So this VSW client, I'm feeling better, trying not to react and thinking more positively, but nothing really has changed. This, is, this seems to be the theme of the entire day yesterday with my clients, right? Focus, so you're focusing your intention, your intention, your energy of intention, your energy of what you want, right? Your energy of your desired end, you're, 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 you're scattering that on coping with conditions in resolving your thoughts and feelings. Do you see it? Whenever you're trying to, working on feeling better or think better thoughts, your focus is now, your focus or your attention, that energy of intention is now pulled off of what you really want, your desired end, right? Your heart's desire. Do you get it, right? There's nothing wrong with feeling better, but when you, put your, when you put your focus on your heart's desire, you'll feel better and you'll think better thoughts, right? But when you put all your attention on thinking better thoughts, on feeling better, on coping with it, on dealing with it, either your inner conditions of thoughts and feelings, like I've been talking about the last few days, or the outer conditions of people, events, and circumstances trying to make something happen, now you're, you're depleting your energy of intention. Right? You're scattering it and trying to cope with all of this. Instead, focus on your desired end result. Connect with what you love. Make your heart's desire the center of, of your attention. Hear it. Make your heart's desire the center of your attention. And the, and the thoughts, feelings, and conditions will naturally follow. The conditions, those will follow that. Right? They'll follow your, your focus and your heart's eye. How do you do it? A, a simple imaginal scene of, of what you want, of what you desire. An affirmation, a powerful slide, movie slide, right? Something you recall, like, it's all perfect, it's done, I'm married, I'm healthy, right? All of that. I'm wealthy, it's all there within you. I, I will, you will no longer be in bondage to temporary inner outer conditions when you focus on your desired end. I've talked about this, but we're gonna really unpack this in a different way today. So, so here's one client said in, in a session yesterday, they, they said that they talked to somebody, I, I don't know if it, if it was a, a coach, or I don't know what it was. They got some advice that said, well, he's blocking you because he really loves you. And she goes, that made me feel better. But think about this. It, the, you're totally now focused on what he's doing or not doing and then interpreting that whether that's love or not love. Do you get this? Not, not only could this statement be, be debated, and I'm not here to debate that statement, why he's blocking you and what he feels, but that's not the point. The point is your focus is no longer, uh, is no longer on your desired outcome. It's no longer on your end result. It's no longer in your heart's desire. It's on what you have to do to make it happen or, to, or feeling better or, de or understanding like what, or being okay with the conditions, right? Interpreting the conditions as love, so now I feel better. Do you see that? It's common to have problems and pain when you have been as active as I had. This is another client who has a problem in his knee, right? Already justifying it already coping with it, already wrapping a story around it. Do you hear it? I know a lot of wealthy people that are miserable. Another client who wants wealth, who wants to feel abundant, but this is the story that this person's telling. Do you get it? I know that what I'm going through is making me stronger. Another client that's going through some tough, quote, conditions, 
and now is just like this one. He's blocking me because he loves me, makes you feel better. That somehow makes his client feel better. But now you're coping with the thoughts and feelings. Your focus is not on your desired end. It's on, the, it's on that, okay, everything, this misery I'm going through is making me stronger. What doesn't kill you makes you stronger, right? And I get it, it makes you feel better. And whether that's true or not doesn't matter. We can debate that. The, the key is what? That your focus is not on your heart's desire. It's not on your end result. It's not on your imagined end. It's pulled in the messy middle of thoughts, feelings, and conditions in all cases. All of the above are thoughts and assumptions to make yourself feel better. So instead of that, just be better already. Move to the improvement. Move where? To your desired end. Move where? To your end result. Move where? To your heart's desire to the assumption that you're perfect, that it's perfect, that everything's perfect, that God is love, it's all good, and you're there. That's what we're talking about. So, but you know, all of that was just arguing for your limitations, arguing for the conditions, arguing to why you're feeling something, and arguing to make you feel better, right? Creating arguments to cope and deal with these inner and outer conditions, these temporary inner and outer conditions. Remember what Richard Bach said in Illusions, The Adventures of a Reluctant Messiah. He said, argue for your limitations, and sure enough, they're yours. They're yours, all of them. All of them as you tell that story. Connect with what you love, fall in love with your wish fulfilled, and then feeling good becomes natural and innate. Remember, feeling good is your natural state of being. It's an elevated emotion, but an elevated emotion is really a state of being. It's the joy and peace that passes all understanding. It's what scripture talks about. It's source in its source in its original form, not filtered by your assumptions and beliefs, not going through these bogus negative filters of assumptions and beliefs, right? Think from your desired end and end result, and then your new thoughts and feelings and assumptions will form around them, right? The, the, the conditions will, the, the world will reshuffle itself, as Neville Goddard says, when you, when you think from that desired end, when you think from that end assumption, right? You will be taking action versus doing something to feel better or make something happen. Do you hear this? You're taking action within, and you might even take action without, but you're no longer doing something to make you feel better. You're no longer rationalizing, arguing, justifying your limitations, ju arguing for your limitations, justifying why someone sent you a, that someone's blocking you because they love you. You're making up stories of why that's possible, right, to make you feel better. Right? Oh yeah, my knee is bad because I've always, it, it was doomed to be bad because I'm, I was active. All of that. Do you get where all of that's coming from? So trying to think more positively and feel better, don't manifest your wish fulfilled and desired outcome. Your focus and intention does. Do you see it? Your focus and intention does. Trying, trying to think more positively and feel better. Don't or doesn't, I, I really want to say doesn't here, doesn't manifest doesn't manifest your wish fulfilled an outcome. Your focus and intention does or do. <laughs> All right, I'm going to either go a plural or single. It doesn't matter. So try to think more positively and feel better. Don't or doesn't manifest your wish fulfilled and desired outcome. Your focus and intention does. That does. Right? Where is your focus and intention? Right? It's not trying to cope and deal with the messy middle. You identify with your thoughts and feelings as reality. And then you worry. Unless you think and feel better, you won't get what you want. Do you hear this? So you identify with your thoughts and feelings that they're as reality, right? As opposed to, to temporary conditions, right? That you're, you're, you're saying that's reality. And then you worry that unless you, that unless you think and feel better, you won't get what you want. Wow. That's big. So when you are just... Remember, when the, these thoughts and feelings are not reality, but you're identifying with them as reality, and then you're trying to cope with them and say that unless I feel better and think better, I won't get what I want. You're creating all of that. When they're just effects of either focusing on what you want and love or feeling separate from it. Hear this. All of that, those thoughts and feelings, those conditions, they're just effects of either focusing on what you want and love or feeling separate from it. They're not the creative, the act. They're not the creative element, 
right? Your focus, intention, and your desired outcome is the, is the creative act. That's big. So thoughts and feelings are not reality. Reality is love. It's unity. It's oneness. It's what I talked about in yesterday's video. There's just all God. There's just all love. There's just all unity. Anything that's unlike love is, is something that you're creating, something that you're seeing and perceiving, right? A partial perception that you're interpreting as, as a lack of love or a lack of goodness or a lack of unity. Remember, when you focus on your heart's desire instead of your thoughts and feelings about it, you're experiencing more of ultimate reality. That's what, that broadens your awareness when you focus on your heart's desire rather than your thoughts and feelings about it, right? When you are focused on what you have to do to get what you want or have to do or be to get what you want, you're stuck in the messy middle of trying to think more positively and feel better. Do you hear it? When you're focused on what you have to do or be to get what you want, you're stuck in the messy middle trying to think more positively or feel better. You don't trust in the divine, natural, innate ability that, you're, that, that you are connected to, right? You, that's only connected to what you love. Being only connected to what you love, trust that divine, natural, innate ability. Trust your natural ability by being connected to what you love. And then that higher power works through you. So, and, and this came up again. I think I did a video a couple months ago. This was an Abraham Hicks uh, fan, and I get it. There's some powerful t teachings with Abraham Hicks. But she's saying, you know, Tom, I try to avoid negative situations. I try to avoid negative people and conditions. And she goes, like Abraham Hicks says, I'm a vibrational snob. I hit this before, right? And again, being a vibrational snob, that's running away from conditions and people. That's judging conditions and people as something negative. And then, and then, then saying that you're something more. Right, that, that, that you're, you're a vibrational snob. You can't be around those. You don't trust your inner ability. You don't trust that inner magic to turn those conditions or perceive those conditions the way you like. Instead, you avoid them. Right, I'm a vibrational snob. I'm judging negative people and conditions. Your focus, <clears throat> hear this, is on protecting yourself from perceived negative people and conditions and energy versus focusing on your heart's desire and creating what you love. Hear it again, right? When you say I'm a vibrational snob, when you're avoiding negative people and conditions, and I'm not saying subject yourself to that, but I'm saying when you talk like that and, 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 you, and you hide and, 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 and run from those conditions, your focus is now on protecting yourself from some perceived negative people, conditions, or energy versus focusing on your heart's desire and creating what you love. When you focus on your heart's desire and create what you love, the conditions will form around you. You'll only resonate and correspond to that what conforms to your heart's desire and what you love. So as opposed to going into battle to protect yourself, focus on what you love. Because when you say I'm a vibrational snob, now you're not focusing on what you love. You're focusing on, on feeling better or thinking better and avoiding negative situations that might bring you down or trigger you. Do you hear it? So you don't see the end result. Here, this is what a magician's way says. You don't see the end result as connecting with human beings. You see the end result as surviving. You see the end result as surviving the conditions, as surviving the, the, the negative people that are all around you, right? Because you're a vibrational soul. You're spiritually developed now, and they're not. So I can't be around them. Do you see that, guys? So it's all love. They're love too. It's seeing them from that light. It's standing, it's teaching from the power of your example and seeing them through love. I'm not saying exposing yourself to, in, in, to conditions or abuse or negative conditions and staying there. I'm not saying that. I'm saying that focus on your desired end, your heart's desire, what you love, and the conditions, the loving conditions will form around you, right? So all of that is just surviving and feeling better. All of that, right? You're, tr you're trying to survive and feel better. When you step outside your thoughts and feelings, you connect with your knowing, your heart's desire, and who you really are. Hear it. When you step outside your thoughts and feelings and the temporary conditions that you're judging as negative, 
When you step outside those and then, con and then connect with your knowing and your heart's desire and who you really are, now you're in the, now, so, now you're feeling source flowing through you. It's always flowing through you and you're always connected. But now you're directing it into, the, into your desired end, to your end result. Do you see it? So I wanted to hit that because that came up. When you step outside, this is what a magician's way calls the swing circle. I talked to a client about this last night. They use the example of golf, right? That when you're in the swing circle, working on your swing, working on shifting your weight, thinking, it, did I get it just right? Is my elbow in the right place? Did I drop my hands? Is everything right? Because if I get the swing right, then I'll hit the target. But while you're doing all of that, your focus is not on the target. It's on coping, it's on reconciling, it's on resolving, it's on processes, it's on trying to get things right. It's on looking at others and trying to avoid them or trying to avoid situations that might bring you down or trigger you. Where you're not no longer focused on the target. Focus on the target. Focus on the hole if you're playing golf, right? And then make that your imaginal image and then swing. <laughs> right? So when you step out the outside the swing circle of thoughts and feelings, temporary emotional conditions, because that's what they are, in changing out of conditions, people and circumstances that you're judging negative, right? You realize, right, your natural divine state of being. You realize that, right? Remember, it's already your state. You're just realizing it. You're recognizing it. You're becoming aware of it. The peace and joy of source, of God, which surpasses all understanding. That's what you recognize. When you step outside that swing circle, right? When, you're, when you step outside thoughts and feelings, temporary emotional conditions, when you step outside changing outer conditions, people, events, and circumstances, you're going to feel that natural divine state of being. That's the peace and joy of God that passes all understanding. That's source energy as your true emotion, right? Source energy is energy, is energy emotion. It's source energy. But that's your true emotion. That, that's your true state of being. So what, what I, I think Dr. Joe Dispenza talks about the elevated emotions of love and gratitude. He says those are the closest you get to source. Yes, because source is pure positive energy. It's pure positive emotion. It's, the, it's your true emotion. And it doesn't change. Like the temporary emotions of, 3D, of the 3D you. Right? You can feel joy and gratitude, really high levels of it, as the 3D you. But there's still nothing compared to the source energy or that pure positive energy, that source. Right? You translate the joy, peace, and love as an elevated emotion, right? that source energy. But it's really a state of being. It's being who you really are. You step outside the illusion of temporal inner and outer conditions and into the now, into the presence of your source. That is busting the myth of trying to feel better thoughts. I am your host, Tom Karen, and this is the Be Something Wonderful studio of higher consciousness, where we help you level up and become the best version of yourself. Creators, thank you. Thank you for subscribing to the channel. Thank you for considering joining the membership channel. Thank you for liking the videos. Thank you for sharing the videos. Thank you for commenting on the videos. Thank you for just being here every day with me. It, it'd be something wonderful. Don't forget, we, have, we also have a Facebook page, facebook.com slash group slash be something wonderful. Someone just posted an amazing st um, story of a couple months of all these manifestations that, that have happened in our life. We had a session a couple months ago and then she, she posted a story about that. I also posted it on the community board on the channel so you can check that out. Also, you can visit our, our Instagram and Twitter at Tom Karen. We have a Facebook page, an organization page called Be Something Wonderful. Go ahead and like that, that's nice. <laughs> and, and just visit us anytime on my website, on our website at TomKaren.com or BeSomethingWonderful.com. Creators, with great love, with great light and infinite gratitude, it's December 23rd, 2022. Until next time, talk to you soon.